The enjoyable journey of taste cuisine Korea. First, we are going to Soregi, a place where original Korean tradition lives. The clean cut and orderly atmosphere of the interior creates simple style and comfort. The second journey of taste is the only Brazilian restaurant in Seoul called Ipanema. The brown tone interior creates a comfortable and a romantic atmosphere. Brazil, the country of passion. We will share with you a world of taste as moving and amazing as their passion. One of the pleasures of going on a journey is that you can experience many different things. When traveling, it's important to keep an open mind and immerse yourself into the culture. In doing so, you can be exposed to new ideas and can get more out of your travel. And I think this goes for food as well. There's an indescribable feeling of discovering a mysterious taste in an unfamiliar place. And of course, that's one of the joys of traveling. Cuisine Korea, want to join me on exquisite journey of fine taste. Shall we find Soregi? Come out through exit number 8 of Seonglung Station and walk towards Samsung Station for about 5 minutes and you'll find the KTF building. Facing the building, turn left and you will see Soregi's soundboard at a glance. POSCO building is located across the street so you'll find the restaurant easily. Traditional Korean restaurant Soregi, located in the midst of the modern district. Servers dressed in Korean traditional costumes provide impressive and quality service. Unlike the exterior, the interior is decorated in a very traditional style. Each room has the traditional sliding door giving a classical atmosphere. The subtle lights enhance the Korean style interior and the orderly tables let you feel the detailed attention of Soregi. The spacious atmosphere will certainly be a big help for enjoying a quiet and comfortable meal. Shall we take a look at Soregi, alive with Korean beauty, together with its lovely murals? A special taste. Because of good service and food with a special taste, this restaurant is always busy with customers. Good service, cozy interior, and excellent food. Why don't we enjoy the harmonious music of taste created by these three elements? I wonder what the customers think. I will talk to some of them who are enjoying their meal. <laughs> ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
we must prepare the sauce ingredients that are to be used to prepare the carby and steamed dishes. Make knife cuts in the meat and soak in the water. Why will we do this? 원래는 고기는 피 같은 거 빼면은 이렇게 쫄깃쫄깃했다는 맛이 없는 건데 맞아요? 그런데 이, 이 피물을 빼지 않으면은요 네. 고기가 이색 제대로 나질 않아요. 음. 네. 이 요리만 이, 그런가요? 네, 일반적으로 삶아서 쓰는 요, 이 고기는 피물을 음. 다 빼는 게 좋습니다. The cleansed beef is boiled once more. This gets rid of any unpleasant smell, making it more delicious. Radish and carrots to be used for the steamed dishes are peeled and cut into suitable sizes. When the meat has cooked sufficiently, we'll really get on with preparing the steamed dishes. This is a special sauce used for kaibi. Look carefully, stir the sauce ingredients thoroughly, and the sauce for steamed kaibi will be nearly ready. Plenty of sauce must be poured, enough for the meat to soak in the seasoning. Prepared vegetables are also added. This is a secret bonus recipe that we're revealing. Put ingredients like berries, fruits, ginger, spring onion, and mix together. This will create a unique sauce that harmonizes refreshing and sharp taste. Add the sauce and steam for about 20 minutes and the delicious steamed carby is complete. Ah, okay. I don't think we need any more words. Let's see him at work. Skate and basic vegetables are prepared. Various seasonings must be also prepared. When you have made enough knife cuts, place in the steamer. Drop wort and large spring onions add to the fragrance of the skate. With drop wort and spring onion, steam skate will taste even better. This is the special sauce to be used for steam skate. Remember well. Put in various ingredients like soy sauce, chopped garlic and ginger, and finish off neatly with spring onion. This is the sauce of steam skate with a wondrous taste. Pour plenty of sauce all over the skate. The fantastic steam skate with a sharp taste is complete. Today we prepare two steam dishes, a healthy way of cooking. 
First, let me try my steamed kalbi. Mmm, it looks really good. Okay, let me take a bite here. Mm. To share a little note, mm, steamed kalbi was actually chosen as one of the three favorite dishes here in Korea by the foreigners. And I can see why. The meat is really, really tender and the sauce is delicious. Now for my second dish here, the steamed ski. Actually, I was told this fish is very rare. Mm. And the taste, it has a very distinctive taste. And I would say, you would have to come to this restaurant to experience it for yourself. The clean cut taste of soregi, communicating the taste of the heart. Each decoration is filled with the greatest care. Their tastes are also special. Looks really crispy and tasty, doesn't it? Enjoy the savory taste of the shrimps. Marinated in sweet and salty seasoning, this menu will surely bring out your appetite. The world of taste created by exquisite harmony of cabbage, salmon, and delicious cucumber pickles. Famous of its savory taste, this menu is good for the stamina. Immerse yourself in the feast of rich taste rising out from the hot meat stock. A menu that is famous for its chewy taste. The more you chew, the more delicious it becomes. Nutritious taste that fills your mouth with satisfaction. It's a traditional Korean dish. Place the colors of nature in wheat chunbyeon. So, how did you enjoy this journey of taste? Well, now it's time for some warm conversation about food. Food and people. Shall we go? Kimchi is Korea's representative fermented dish famous around the world. This is a place where anyone can enjoy the various tastes of kimchi. I'll guide you to a place where you can find all the answers to kimchi. Kimchi 김치는 사계절이 뚜렷한 한반도에서 추운 겨울을 대비하여서 저장식품으로 발달을 하게 되었습니다. 한반도에서 많이 생산이 되는 채소를 소금에 저장하여 가지고 다양한 향신료들을 첨가하여 가지고 발달이 된 것이 김치인데요. 지금 우리가 먹고 있는 붉은 색깔의 김치는 18세기에 일본으로부터 고추가 유입됨에 따라서 붉은 색깔을 띠게 되었습니다. 더 이상 국내에서만 호응이 받는 식품이 아니라 외국 영양학자들과 또 외국 일반인들에게도 아주 많은 호응을 받고 있어서 김치는 더 이상 한국에만 머무르는 음식이 아닌 전 세계로 뻗어나가는 식품이 되어가고 있습니다. If a hundred people were to eat the same food, then it will probably not taste the same to everyone. The sense of taste can be quite mysterious and strange. Cuisine Korea, providing us with the pleasure of great taste. Today, I, Gina Huang, hope to take you to the wonderful world of taste. Are you ready? Then come with me. To 
you go to Ipanema, you come out through exit number 5 of Sodemun Station subway line number 5. That's towards Kwangamun, and you can see a newspaper building right away. Turn right and go for about 30 meters and you will find the building of Ipanema. One thing, Ipanema is located on the first basement floor. Ipanema, the only traditional Brazilian restaurant in Seoul. Here, you can feel the style that is unique to Brazil. The different alcohols on display at the entrance look rather stylish, don't they? The brown tone sophisticated interior creates a romantic atmosphere at Ipanema. You can enjoy different tastes of meat under the subtle lights. These are the reasons why customers who frequent Ipanema love this place so much. Can you feel the clean cut and stylish attention they give to all corners? The large TV installed in the restaurant provides simple video explanations about how shuhaskus are cooked, adding to the enjoyment of this dish. There are also samba performances allowing you to have an enjoyable meal here. Things that make Brazilian food even more exciting there are the decorations placed in all corners. Just looking at them will be quite interesting. Making special days even more special. Making valuable guests even more valuable. There is a place just right for that. This is a special room filled with a gracious yet modern feeling. There is another pleasure available at Ipanema. It's none other than buffet-style salad bar. Fresh vegetables and fruits set up decoratively. I think I can feel the fragrance of nature. There are so many different kinds here. It is a service that satisfies the heart as well as the stomach. Little Brazil in Seoul, come and enjoy it. Ipanema, 그리고 테이블 위에 이 재미있는 거를 발견했는데요. 좀 설명해 주시겠어요? 예, 이제 식사할 때 필요한 도구인데요. 이 초록색으로 놓고 올려 놓고 식사를 하시면은 계속 먹겠다는 의미고요. 예. 반대로 빨간 쪽으로 올려 놓고 식사를 하시면은 고기를 구만 먹겠다는 의미입니다. 아, 네. 그렇군요. 참 예, 재밌네요. 예. <웃음> 예, 감사합니다. 예, 예. Wow. Now I'm going to put it on green all day so I could eat meat all day. Wow, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Shall we take a look at shuhasko, which is a charcoal barbecue dish? With the fragrance seeping through tender chicken legs, you'll be able to find a different taste of chicken. The outside skirt, which is known as the most tender part of the beef, Tenderness joined with fragrance of charcoal invites you to a feast of taste. The chewy texture of the meat and savory taste is harmonized to let you feel the pleasures of the palate. The more you chew, it tastes even better. The grease has been drowned out to bring out this wonderful taste. We invite you to the special and amazing world of pork ribs. The fragrance of well-boiled red beans a meat soup with a roasty taste. Come and try its taste as well. A table full of different dishes really stimulates the appetite. We can feel the passionate taste and simple fragrance of Brazil food right here. The well-roasted shuhasku is eaten after it's cut right at your table. Looks delicious, doesn't it? I wonder what people think. Let me talk with some of them. The meat here is, is a good quality and the taste is, is as good as in Brazil. 
the taste is really good. I like um, the beef with um, just only salt. So it tastes really good. Salad bar is um, always fresh and tasty. Yeah, 와보니까 일단은 브라질 현지 사람들이 서빙하니까 되게 이국적인 느낌이 들고요. 분위기도 전체적으로 괜찮고. 기름을 쫙 빼가지고 나와서 또 양파랑 같이 먹기 때문에 어, 그렇게 느끼하지 않고 맛있는 것 같아요. It has brought out the original taste of meat. Enjoy cooking together with Ipanema. He is today's chef, who will show us everything about churrasco. We will go on a journey to a land of special taste with this Brazilian chef of seven-year experience. Today's best of best presenting us with the new taste is this. Fresh beef loin is needed. We also need thick and clear grain salts. So the first dish that you're going to show us is picanha. Oh, yeah. The picanha? Uh-huh. It's first. So you get the fat out yeah. first. Yes. Cut to a suitable size and put it on the skewer. These large grain salts bring out the original taste of meat even more. Fill with the fragrant charcoal fragrance for 20 minutes. Onions can never be left out with churrasco. Cut the onions into thin slices and place it on the plate. Season with salt, sugar and vinegar and it becomes a vegetable better suited to churrasco. The meat has been fully cooked in hot charcoal. The brownish meat looks delicious. Some turkey must be prepared. We also need some seasoning ingredients. Okay, so the second dish is turkey yeah, churrasco. Turkey churrasco. Can you show us how to make it? Yeah. We are going to add seasoning that will enhance the taste of the turkey. Put black pepper and bay tree leaves and season with salt. The beer gets rid of any unpleasant smell and makes the meat even more tender. You should marinate the meat for at least 14 hours in green onions and water. Put the meat on the skewer and cook until it turns brownish. Can you see the rising smoke seeping into the tender turkey? You will be able to experience the best taste in no time. Then I'm going to put a little onion on top of the picanha. Now, the important part, tasting time. Meat is very tender. No, I don't even think I have to put the steak sauce anymore. And the onions give a very refreshing taste. Mmm. Turkey. turkey. Thank you. Okay, just a thin slice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, oh, can you see the steam coming out of it? Okay, a little more onions. A little bit. Okay. Maybe I'll put a little pepper. Okay. Now, time for the tasting. It melts right in your mouth. It's been marinated right to taste. And again, 
The onions give a very tangy taste. Wow, delicious. If you eat deer meat in your dreams, it's supposed to mean that you'll be expanding your business. And if you eat fish in your dreams, it's supposed to mean that you're going to make a lot of money. But if you always dream of food all the time, then wouldn't all good fortunes be yours? In Cuisine Korea, we share happy dreams with you. I am Gina Huang, and I will be back next time with more Cuisine Korea. <laughs>